Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. Today we're going to be drawing a love monster and the book has you making a mono print but a mono print takes a lot of work and it's a lot of mess and it's a lot of paint so if you want to do that you're more than welcome to do a mono print but um, something easier you can either do a collage or you can even draw this monster. It's just meant to help you practice creating textures. So I have white paper today, a black crayon, a red crayon, and then you could also use um, colored paper if you want to reverse that and use black and white in different colors. That's fine too. So we're going to go ahead and get started creating our love monster in that kind of fluffy, furry, fuzzy, soft texture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually take my black crayon, and you could start with pencil too. I'm going to start drawing the body. And then you can see he kind of has these cat-like ears from our story. It goes back up on the other side and back down. If you want to draw a different picture, you can um, look up different pictures of the love monster or look in that video. Maybe you want him in a pose or holding a stuffed animal. That's up to you too. Next, I'm going to draw two circles. I have one and two. It's really up to you how you want the eyeballs or how the pose is going to be or the expression. Inside of those circles, I'm going to draw another circle and darken them in, making that pupil. And you could have them looking straight at you or maybe he's looking up or cross-eyed. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and add two thick eyebrows next. Again, kind of play around with the expression. And then I'm going to give him that kind of goofy grin that he's got. It kind of goes into a smile, a nice, thick, dark smile. And his teeth are triangles that go upward. And you can kind of play with, around with the size of the triangles. You could do three. I could make this longer and even do a fourth one. So now I have this kind of goofy looking monster. Now I'm going to add in just a very quick texture. So I could have these textures in the ear. And I can even have fluffy, furry textures just by drawing lines all going the same way down the edge of the body. Now in the story that we read or looked at, the monster is red, but you can make your monster any color you want. So I have this nice big red crayon here. If you press really light around those dark details, or if you even wanted to watercolor this, if you have watercolor, I'll make watercolor around your monster. I'm not gonna color the teeth because those are white. I'm also not going to color the eyeballs because those are also meant to be white. Now, just like with any of our other drawings that we do, you can give this a background. Where is your monster? What is it doing? I think in my background today, I'm just going to add in some heart. So I'll show you how to draw a heart today. This would be really, really nice with paint too. So if you have those things at home, you're more than welcome to make this with something else. It does not have to be crayon. You can also do this with marker. There you go. Now, so most of my love monster is done, but I'm going to give a little bit of a background here. I'm going to just use my black crayon. I'm going to add in some hearts. Kind of goes around, up, and around that ear shape. And back on the other side, as symmetrical as you can make them. If you've never drawn a heart before, take your time. Curve out, go back the opposite way. There you go. And I can take other colors. I can do any color I want. Yellow to create um, or fill in that heart. I can use orange to fill in one of those hearts. Purple would be really nice. I 
do one of them red since I pushed really light on my monster I can get a really nice dark bold red and lastly just so I have some variety I'm gonna do my last one blue but you could do these any color if you don't want hearts for your background maybe um, your love monsters laying in his bed in his pajamas or playing in the snow you know what is your love monster doing where is it at what's he doing when you're all done drawing or coloring or painting your artwork don't forget to post to padlet at the bottom of your lesson page the title is just your first and last name with your classroom teacher if you've never used padlet before on your device it might pop up and say would you like padlet to allow access to your camera just say yes or allow and you should be able to take a picture just by clicking that little camera icon and then of course click save Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I can't wait to see all of your wonderful artwork today.